Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a nice easy pumpkin for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to start off by drawing a bit of a circle in the center of my page, but it's going to be, my pumpkin is going to be a little bit wider than it is tall, so it's really more of an oval, just coming over to the sides a little bit extra. And then I'm going to decide where the top of my pumpkin is going to be, and I'm just going to start off by making a little bit of a V shape up here because pumpkins have these um, segments that come down from the top and are very, um, what's the word? I don't know, shaped like eyes. They're shaped like an, an eyeball turned sideways. Um, and then at the bottom, you can't really see it curving as much, so it becomes a little bit flatter at the bottom edge. And then we're going to do the same thing again, right beside that one, except this little um, triangle is going to have a small edge. Let me just erase that a little bit. It's going to have one small edge and one wider edge for the, for the V shape. And then it's going to do the same thing coming down around toward the bottom of the pumpkin. And again, we're going to have, um, we're going to see it coming in toward the bottom here. And then we're going to come back to the top one more time, and this one you won't see an upline at all. You're just going to see it bumping out from the last one you made. This one's going to pretty much follow the edge of my oval shape. And again down here, it's this one's not quite making it. If you see how these have gone, one is sort of close, one is further back, and one is further back again. And now we'll do the same thing on this side. So we're going to have uh, sort of an upside down V shape here, but it's going to be more, it's going to be longer um, on the left side than on the right. And then it's going to come down, bowing out towards the bottom and not coming down as far as this one, more like this one here. So it's going to arch in and then we'll do another one. It's just going to do the same thing, coming down from a bit lower and bowing all the way around and again stopping just a little bit higher up than these others. And you might even be able to see just a hint of the next row on this side just because of the angle that the pumpkin is sitting on. But it, it's not going to come all the way to the bottom of this pumpkin. So now we're going to draw the stem at the top and it's just going to be uh, sticking up and a little bit curved over. So this is just how it was cut when it grew. So it's like a bit of a candy cane shape that just has a curve here. And then we're going to curve this line back down towards the pumpkin and maybe just put a little bump in there as well, just because it's, um, it's not perfect. It's an imperfect pumpkin, something that grew in nature. All right, so you could draw some, um, sometimes pumpkins have like, the vines that pumpkins grow on have some little curly cues on them. So if you wanted to, you could include something like that. I'm just going to keep mine very bare bones, no extra decorations so that you can see the basic pumpkin shape. So now your next step is to choose some colors. So I'm not going to use any black in this particular pumpkin. So I'm going to have, um, I'm going to look at what oranges and yellows I have in my marker kit. And this is my most vibrant orange. I'm going to use this one for tracing. This is my second most vibrant. And then this one is definitely yellow. Just having a quick look here. I have other versions of yellow, but I think they're yellower. Hard to say if these are even different. And this one's definitely bright yellow. I don't want that one. Um, so one of these, I think it was this one this one. Uh, so those three and then some greens for the vine. So the vine is going to just be um, kind of a not too vibrant of a green, more on the on the shade of like olive green and then maybe a little bit of this other green in it too. And I'll just grab one more green. So it's nice to have three, that's too bright. And well, I'll make one with that one. You just, maybe I'll outline it with this darker green and do my lines with these other two. Okay, so those are the colors I'm, I'm choosing and I'm going to leave all my sketch lines on here for now and I'm going to get started with my most vibrant orange. I'm going to use this one to do all of my segment dividing lines. So I'll just start off here going along the edge of each of these uh, outside segment lines all the way down and all the way up just like this. 
So maybe you'd like to share with us um, why you're drawing a pumpkin today. Are you celebrating Thanksgiving? Do you like pumpkins for fall? Maybe you have to do it for a project. Or maybe you're drawing a pumpkin today because you like watching all my videos and I'm drawing a pumpkin. Uh, so I'm just going to thicken some of these lines up in the middle areas. Just in the middle, not too much. Uh, just giving a little bit more depth of color to this um, to this pumpkin. And I'm even going to do uh, the bottom edge, but not the top. I'm going to leave that one on the thin side. I'm just going to darken up these bottom divisions because it would be a bit more shadow down here compared to the rest of the pumpkin. All right. And then I'm going to switch to my next most vibrant orange. And I'm going to color in this entire segment over here and pretty much this entire segment over here as well. Yeah, this whole one. And then for the middle ones, as I get closer to the front, I'm going to be leaving segments in the middle that would give it, um, I'm going to highlight it with this almost yellow color. So for this one, I'm just going to leave a tiny bit of room for the light orange yellow, so just this much. And then this one, I'm going to fill in in the same shape as this edge coming from top to bottom. There'll be more of it at the bottom because of the shadow, the way it's casting. And I'm going to leave the middle of this to color in with a lighter orange. And the same thing here. And thinking about the way the lighting is going, there'll be less and less light orange showing. You can experiment with this yourself to see what you like about the, about the shading. So I feel like these ones went down too low, so I'm just going to cut them off a bit. Leave them more orange at the bottom and lighter near the top. And now I'm going to use this lightest color. Just come back in to fill in this little area here. Because, you know, you might say, well, pumpkins aren't this light color. But the truth is, there's so many more colors and things than we actually see. You know, we think we just see a solid color, but in life, we almost never see solid colors being represented. We always see some sort of blending of various colors. So I'm just going to bring some more of this color over the others. And soon I'm going to come back and erase. But I do have to wait till this dries before I can erase, otherwise it'll smudge. Okay, now I'm going to do the stem, and I'm going to start with my nice dark green, but I'm going to make my lines super thin, just like so. And then I had two other greens that I was going to use. One was a, one was a little bit bluer than the other. So this one is the bluer green, and this one is the more olive green. And I'm going to use this bluer one to act as a shadow. So for this one, I'm just going to put the shadow down here, coming from the pumpkin, just along like this and maybe even just a, like the hint of the shape that it's been growing on. And then I'm going to use my last green to color in the space in between. So that's it. I hope you found this easy. I know some people don't always think things are as easy as I say they are, but you know, if you keep on practicing, you'll get better and better. <coughs> Excuse me. You keep on getting better and better, and the more you draw, the better you get. I'm just going to erase these little sketch lines before I put my shadows in. So I hope you liked watching me draw this today, and if you did, please click like. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more Doodle Draw art. And please comment below. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.